Monterey Bay is part of a national marine sanctuary that encompasses thousands of miles of ocean. I'm teaming up with two conservationists, Keith and Jan, to contrast two areas of the bay. One that's struggling to survive, and another that's thriving. Our first stop is a mature kelp forest. This area appears to be spared the devastating effects of climate change that has affected other areas of Monterey Bay. This is due in no small part to sea otters. As we've learned, keystone species like sea otters act as a stabilizing force, keeping this entire ecological system in a state of balance. Kelp is an algae. It's one of the fastest growing organisms on the planet. Kelp can grow up to two feet per day. So many creatures thrive and depend upon healthy kelp. Like this big fish eating anemone. While all anemones use their tentacles to capture bits of food, this species can consume small fish and even shrimp. Here is a great example of a healthy kelp holdfast. It acts as almost like the root system for the kelp fronds which grow towards the sunlight above. They do best in cold, clean, nutrient-rich, turbulent water. An incredible and humbling sight to see. However, this ecosystem is much more fragile than it appears. And an area not far from this one is undergoing a massive change. Coming up, we find out what's destroying the kelp forests of Monterey Bay. There are thousands of purple urchins everywhere. We're in the stunning state of California, learning how we can help save the kelp forests of Monterey Bay. I've teamed up with two local conservationists to tackle a very important problem. So normally we have this natural balance between kelp, which is habitat, and, and food, and nutrients for all sorts of other life forms, but now it's off kilter. And what has caused this instability is climate change. Beginning in late 2013, an extreme marine heat wave descended on Monterey Bay and the entire west coast. The warmer waters stifled the growth of kelp and was a likely contributor to a wasting disease that decimated the sunflower sea star, which is a vitally important sea urchin predator. So urchins, which are important, have exploded population-wise, and they're eating the kelp forest to a desert. So. What is the solution? What can we do? So right now, we're trying to remove the urchins where they have to be, become too abundant so that the kelp has a chance to regrow. And I'm going to take you out today. We're going to call some urchins, and we're going to remove the urchins that are eating the kelp forest that is right here. All right, so let's suit up, get in, start exploring and saving giant kelp. We descend with small hammers that we'll use to call the devastating explosion of sea urchins and hopefully help bring this ecosystem back into balance. I can already tell this area is radically different from our previous dive. The canopy of giant kelp has been thinned out to a few measly strands, and the vibrant diversity of aquatic life is simply gone. Here, you can see an example of a sea urchin this invertebrate uses its ball of spines as its defense. Now, sea urchins play a crucial part in the balanced circle of life in Monterey Bay. But when this system is off balance, we need to reduce their numbers or risk losing the kelp for generations or more. Whoa, there are just thousands upon thousands of purple urchins everywhere. They have completely inundated, have swamped this entire ecosystem. They litter the substrate of the sea floor in every rock, every crevice. Removing these urchins is tedious and difficult work, which is why Keith and Jan's ability to organize large groups of volunteers is so important. 
and here, you can see the problem. A whole fast of one of the few remaining kelp in this area is being devoured by dozens and dozens of urchins. So, we clear the urchins away and give it a fighting chance to survive. This other holdfast has been almost completely consumed, and the branches of algae, which usually tower towards the sunlight, have been wiped out. Part of Keith and Jan's mission is to organize local divers to address this problem together. Kind of like a community beach cleanup, but underwater. Hopefully, these authorized initiatives will help lead to a prosperous future for Monterey Bay. Coming up, our California adventure continues inland to find the only mammal that can truly fly. Look at that coloration.